The conventional approach to water is that we use it once and then we get rid of it. We never think about what happens after we flush the toilet and when we turn on the tap, we just assume water's gonna come out. Wastewater is this incredible resource comprised of water, of energy, of nutrients, all of these things we can actually recover and repurpose. At Epic, we believe that there is no such thing as wastewater, there is only wasted water. My father came here as a political refugee from the Soviet Union, escaping oppression, and he came here to find a new life and to find freedom. On my mother's side, my grandparents came to this country having survived the Holocaust. We know that the world is capable of a lot of darkness, but we also know that there's a lot of light. My family's story gives me a lot of strength. I was born in San Francisco. My father was a Soviet-trained rocket engineer, so it was definitely a very hands-on childhood. A lot of models, a lot of puzzles, a lot of fixing things yourself. I always knew I wanted to be focused on work that would have a lot of impact. Living in the Middle East, I gained a, a newfound sensitivity to the issues around water and around climate change, and I saw firsthand that things were getting much worse, much more quickly. Epic Clean Tech was born from our work with the Gates Foundation, which was focused on single toilets. My father, Igor, has been designing complex building systems for 40 years. He said, I wonder if we can take what these guys are doing for single toilets and scale it up into a building application. 14% of all potable water in the world is used in buildings, yet very few buildings recycle it. We are taking this building wastewater and we're converting it into three outputs. Clean water, soil products, and recovered wastewater heat energy. The first step is that we remove the solids out of the water, turn those solids into high quality soil products. Gardening is important to our family. Just working with our hands, working with the soil, and we understand how critical the soil is to life. With the solids now removed, we can then treat the water using a series of advanced filtration and purification steps. Our goal is to produce an extremely high quality water that will then recirculate back into the building for non-drinking uses. Toilet flushing, irrigation, cooling towers, laundry, helping a building to reuse anywhere from 50 to 95% of their water right on site. And then three is recovered wastewater heat. So we use an incredible amount of energy to heat water up in a building for things like showers, for cooking, for dishwashers, for laundry, all of that heat, we typically just send back off into the sewers. And by our calculations, there is enough energy being lost in our sewers to power every single electric vehicle on the road. We can instead recapture that heat, that energy, and reuse it within the building and get it to a point where our systems will actually be energy neutral or even energy producers. San Francisco became the first city in the nation to actually require that all new large buildings had to have on-site water recycling systems. We're in the middle of this drought. Why are we using fresh water from our national parks to flush our toilets in downtown San Francisco when we can be producing recycled manufactured water right on site? You have more cities who are incentivizing and mandating on-site water reuse as part of a way to future-proof their water supplies and ensure that they won't run out of water in years and decades to come. We think that this is just the exciting start of what we view as a water reuse revolution. My name is Aaron Tartakovsky. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Epic Clean Tech.